right, today I wanna make a quick little video on uh, the Harbor Freight compression tester for an engine. Because the other day, I used it to check the compression on a new four-wheeler I got. And it seemed oddly low for how it felt. Uh, and then I tested a dirt bike I have, a little CR125, and the compression came back at 60 PSI. Did a little research online, apparently these things only tell you half what the PSI really is. So I wanna do a comparison between both testing kits and see if this thing is junk. So I ordered this one on Amazon. If it's good, I'll throw up the link. So this is the Pittsburgh Quick Connect Compression Tester from Harbor Freight. Um, it's, it's a decent kit, what it comes with. Comes with all the attachments. They all seem pretty solid. Um, pretty self-explanatory. Let's see what this one looks like. Similar, similar size, Amazon one. A little bit bigger packaging. So let's see what it comes with. Some spare O-rings, an extra Schrader valve, uh, little instructions, and uh, various different attachments for different sizes. One, two, three, four, five. Harbor Freight only comes with three. My main use for this is checking compression but obviously it can do a couple more things than that. Um, all right, so let's go to the dirt bike, the 125, and let's test it with the Pittsburgh, see what we get for a PSI reading, and then we'll test it with the Amazon and see what we get. All right, I'm gonna pop off the spark plug and we're gonna use the Pittsburgh Harbor Freight first. So on this bike, it's pretty easy. Take off the spark plug boot, get yourself a 13 16 spark plug wrench. You use a ratchet. That's... All right, so you just find the right attachment for your application. Hey, sh sh get out of here. Get, 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 get. Sh 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 get out of here, dude, come on. This one, I'm pretty sure Nope, it's the bigger one. Okay, so it's this one. So we're gonna screw this in to the top of the cylinder. All right, that's pretty snug, like I said, hand tight. All right, now I'm gonna hook up the gauge. Just a little push connect. It's a little hard right where the thing sits. But... All right, so that's in there. So I'm gonna kick her over. Basically, check compression. If you wanna kick it over, Rule of thumb is about 10 times with the throttle wide open. Uh, basically, when you see this dial stop moving, that's when you know you're at the right spot. So, as you can see, the gauge is saying 60. Let's do it again. 60, right? So 60 PSI compression for an engine is not good. Uh, that would tell you that the engine is bad either worn rings, worn out cylinder, whatever. So let's try the Amazon kit and see what reading we get with that. Uh, I think right there. Let's go in here, see how hard or how easy this is gonna be. All right, that's pretty snug. So Harbor Freight was telling us 60 PSI a video I saw online said that usually those are like off by half, which is a ton. So let's hook this one up. Same thing, it's a push connect fitting. So the inside blue line, if you can see that clearly, that's the PSI. All right, there you go. Right there, we're at about 115 or so. So that tells me that that Harbor Freight one is about half off. Let's try it again. Another quick tip is when you're kickstarting a dirt bike you want to make sure you have a good pair of crocs on seriously you don't want to use anything other than crocs crocs are what real men wear <laughs> and you'll go places if you wear crocs you get a lot of chicks <laughs> all right let's see what this is again yeah we're about 115 psi so this tester is a lot more accurate so pittsburgh harbor freight not a good choice so yeah, I wouldn't recommend getting the Harbor Freight compression tester. And if you have it, um, throw it in the trash, it's not worth anything. Or 
if you have the Harbor Freight compression tester, just assume it's most likely double PSI than what that is actually telling you. With this Harbor Freight tester, I can only imagine so many people have misdiagnosed engines, cylinders, whatever, uh, from that thing being off. Alright guys, I'm going to turn it on and rip it. Too strong! Amazon special, not a bad deal. Um, I'll put the price again on the screen again to see no, but this kit is a little better with the extra attachments it comes with, everything else. It's got more fittings for different uh, size spark plugs and everything. Um, and it's just, it just works better. It tells you a more accurate PSI rating. Yeah, that's the video. I just want to put that video out there because it had me really concerned when uh, I, I realized how off and inaccurate that tester is. Uh, it's kind of uh, kind of makes me want to second guess getting Harbor Freight tools anymore. But that's that. Uh, thanks for watching. And again, if you have any uh, tips on the Pittsburgh on why it's not showing the correct PSI, let me know. But uh, yeah, stay tuned for more. Also, look at these all-terrain Crocs, you know? Yeah, look at the cameraman. What's he wearing? Crocs. Exactly.